Good day, YouTube. And welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Look, you can see a cup there. Uh, yeah. This is a beer I reviewed about 45 minutes ago, and I just haven't finished yet. Um, I have the camera on a different uh, stand than usual, so I'm not entirely sure what it sees and what it doesn't. So let's just get that off camera. Mm. What's still on camera? Oh, the cup I'm going to use. Okay. And some cans and stuff that I just haven't added to the box of drinking beers. Oh, excuse me. Anyway, there's a lot of stuff on this table that I just haven't taken care of. Let's review our beer, right? We try to do uh, we try to do two or three beers a night, giving myself about 45 minutes between each beer, so that I am sober. And I record gaming reviews or something in between. Anyway, today we will drink this beer from Van Cleek Hill, Ontario, from Bose. This is their Farm Table IPA at 6% ABV, and there's like a a um, like boat, boat on there, a boat. Uh, you know, 6% I, I ABV is not what I'd expect from a farm table beer. Uh, farm table beers, uh, I would expect lower. I would expect like 3 to 5. Uh, really, 3 to 4 is what I would really expect. But I'm just being stupid now because there's no such thing as a farm table IPA. It's just what they're making. Local spring water, organic barley malts, organic hops, brewer's yeast. It's not really farm table. I mean, you'd use whatever was at the farm. Alrighty, let's open her up. Let's try her. Let's see what we have here. Um, the farm table series beers usually range in price from like uh, $5 a bottle to $6 a bottle. I've seen some at $4.95 and I believe $5.95. I think this was one of the $5.95 bottles. Uh, Bose beers in general normally run you between three ninety five and uh, and five ninety five. I mean, if you buy if you buy their four pack, the best of Bose four pack, you're paying twenty four bucks. And people get all worked up about that. It's six dollars a beer. Yeah, well, they are pretty much bombers or six hundred milliliter bottles. So I mean, six bucks a beer is pretty uh, standard fare for this size bottle. Um, it it can get a little. Uh, a little questionable though when you're looking at things like Kolsch's and all that. I mean, six dollars isn't what they charge for their lug tread, but mattering what's inside the bottle matters whether or not you want to pay the money they're charging. Not everybody does. Uh, slight haze, amber color, looks nice. I mean, uh, in all honesty, it's not a bad looking beer. There's a lot of shit floating in there though. Uh, yeah, a lot of shit floating in there. There is probably hop residue all over the place in there. Visually, kind of appealing. I like the sea monkey look. Smell. Okay. Malt, caramel. Touch of orange. Very minuscule touch of uh, cedar. Smells... Smells the part? Let's try it. Cheers. Okay. Now for me, I'm personally a fan of juicy IPAs. The juicier the better. I love big citrus fruits in my mouth. I like mango, papaya, passion fruit, orange. Uh, even lemon and lime, I love those those juicy, fruity flavors in my mouth when I'm drinking an IPA. This, not really giving me that. A uh, caffeine pill resininess on the back end. There was a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of a fruity sweetness, almost grapefruit-like, and then straight into like piff on the forefront. Um, not a bad beer per se. Uh, well, I shouldn't say per se, not a bad beer, there's nothing wrong with it, there's no 
inconsistencies in it. There's no, there's no infection or brewing faults. It's just not a beer I care for. Um, there are a lot of a lot of IPAs that taste just like this one. So, uh, off the top of my head, I can't think of them, but I know I've tasted this exact exact beer before. Uh, for the most part, I mean, there's going to be nuances in the in the flavors, but um, a little bit of sweetness from the malt, a little bit of caramel, uh, a little bit of sweetness off of what tastes almost like grapefruit, a little bit of sweetness and sourness, then pith from like a, from a peel, then kind of a piney and bitter resin resiny in the back end, like it takes over the back of your palate. And just covers it in uh, something that I'm not a big fan of. All in all, a beer that is well made, just not personally enjoyable. Uh, I would give this myself. I would give it probably a 4.75 out of 10 because I don't want to drink it again. Uh, I've had too many beers that do taste similar to this, and I don't like any of them, so I don't really care to drink it again. I will finish it. I won't chug it on camera because I know that I won't like doing that. But I will finish it. If you get the chance to try it, it's worth a try. You might love it. You might hate it. Uh, again, it's not that it's brewed incorrectly. It's just not for me. So thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful, splendiferous evening. I'm going to put that over to the side. I'm going to go play some video games. Then I'll come back and do another review. Bye.